Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video again. This is part number six, processing JSON files like a pro. So essentially, we're gonna be using step functions, uh, essentially a map operator. So we'll be processing the JSON file in batches. So in this video, we're gonna see how to do that using step functions, okay? So we have done a great job so far. Part one, the basics. Part two, we learned about a very basic lambda part three we learned about retry part four we learned about catch block part five we learned about what did we learn about in part five uh, i forgot <laughs> i let me see what did i make on part five yeah part five was essentially choice branching yeah if statements how you can branch over there all that stuff now let's process some files in parallel with step functions all right let's get started i'm excited uh, so we're gonna build something like this okay so uh, the input is this one. So we have a batch of uh, JSON files and we want to process each item in parallel using step functions. Okay. Um, so let's understand on how we can do that. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'll try my best to go slow. Right. So the first thing that we have is something called comment that essentially describes the state machine start at for loop. So this is where I'm going to start my state machine. I'm just giving it a fancy name, right? And then here I'm defining my states. So this is my states called for loop, right? The one that I have. Uh, now here I'm using the type as map operator. Okay, I'm saying it's a map object. Now I'm gonna say input path is equal to dollar dot detail, which means dollar means the JSON, and then details mean this, right? So that's what we are passing dollar dot details. In item path will be dollar dot shift. This is my item path, right? This all items, right? So dollar dot shift, right? Max concurrency to how many your lambdas you want to use in, in parallel, right? Now here is where you say iterator. So for each item, that is your each item, we define a start, uh, we define a state. So the first state would be process JSON file. You can break this into multiple state as well, okay? So now here I'm saying state process JSON file, type as task, and here is my lambda function that's gonna do the job, okay? So remember, you could have more states, right? And each state could have try and catch block. You could do all these fancy things, uh, all right? So that's that. Now I'm collapsing that. And uh, what I'm doing is at the end, I'm saying $.detail.shift, which means a result path. That means uh, in the result, combine all the res results. So we'll read, try to read this. $.detail.shift. Dollar is the entire dot detail dot shift so for each item aggregate the result and then output it to the step function now my lambda function here is very easy as you can see uh, expects a json i'm adding a timestamp here to show you that i'm processing it okay so coming back to lab number six copying all these stuff now clicking on edit dumping the code here and as you can see now wait yeah Oh yeah, it's the same uh, piece of code, so it's not gonna, there's no changes essentially. All right, so we'll click on save. So my state machine uh, or step function is saved, right? Now heading over back to my state machine, click on uh, start execution, and I'll pass in this JSON documents as an input, and we'll click on start execution. Now, as you can see, uh, it's pretty fast and it processed already. So now if I zoom in here, okay, so if I click on the middle, right? So the input is, you know, it shows me a one of the input, right? And then the output, you see the Lambda processed it and added the timestamp. But if you click on the outer box, it's gonna show you the entire input and the uh, aggregated output. So as you can see, each Lambda was processing up an entity here, right? Uh, and it worked amazingly, right? Now, uh, stepping the game a little bit up, right? Uh, just a little bit, so if you can, uh, remember lab number four was where we added the retry so we could copy the retry block and now we want to make sure that when processing files right we want to make sure if anything fails we want to retry so now i can come here and add a retry logic which means uh, if there's a custom error i don't have a custom error so i'll remove that any task failed or any states failed a uh, retry uh, after a particular back off time and do it for two times so i could define that I could define also a catch block. So now you can see you can also do much, much complicated branching logic out of that, right? So I'm trying to show you the possibility on what you can do. 
So as you can see, right, the power that step function offers, right, batch processing of JSON files. You can dump this file to the data lake, or uh, whatever you are doing, you know, application, but this is the true power of step function. You can use the map operator, uh, read the data from some database for each item, then fire up a Lambda process in parallel, and there you go. Serverless solutions, guys, right? So I'll leave the source code there as well. This is there on my GitHub section. So if you want to check that out, it's going to be lab number six. Okay. All the previous tutorials are also there with the appropriate link. So do check that out as well. Okay. All I request guys, all I request you is a simple thing, a simple like and a share would be a really, really amazing because making this tutorial takes a lot of time. Preparing these labs, recording, pre-processing takes a huge amount of time. A simple like would make my day. Thank you so very much. Keep smiling, keep learning, keep exploring. See you in lab number seven now.